This is John Cola with OKRaw.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you. Today I have the pleasure of interviewing Ari Meyerowitz of the Sprout Man Company about a very important topic about sprouts. I know a lot of you guys eat raw foods, but unfortunately most of you guys probably don't eat any sprouts. I'm guilty. I'm not going to say I eat sprouts. I mean, they just give me a bunch of sprouts I will be eating. <laughs> I buy some sprouts every here and there and I grow a few sprouts here and there, but I don't eat nearly enough sprouts. That being said, I do grow a whole entire garden outside, all my greens. Sometimes I'll eat little baby sprouts or baby greens that I grow outside, but it's rare I grow sprouts, so I have to find a part one, one today that can help me grow sprouts because I don't know why I'm not able to do it. But you guys could all grow sprouts in your house and eat sprouts, so we're gonna learn a lot more about sprouts, but more importantly, we're gonna learn how Ari ate nothing but sprouts, right? He lived for 30 days, only ate sprouts. So Ari, is this true? You only ate sprouts with no other foods, no avocados, no nuts, no cooked foods, no nothing. You only ate sprouts for 30 days? Well, I did sometimes steam the sprouts to add some variety. So it wasn't but raw. It wasn't but always it was raw, but it was all sprouts. All sprouts, yeah. all right, great. Yeah, so that, I mean, there is that, that, so I never claimed it was raw, but right. it was, uh, it, I, it, this was in the the early days of running the company with me and my brother and so immediately after after my dad's accident I wanted to live the lifestyle so the first thing I did was I said all right I'm gonna drink wheatgrass every day for a year and see what that does to me so, so you drink fresh wheatgrass or so, uh, well I drink fresh wheatgrass occasionally I tried some frozen wheatgrass when I was traveling we had a few expos uh, booked and so I took like I, I had some ship but I pretty much I packed uh, a small hand juicer with me and flew and made sure I shipped grass to wherever I was going. I And, and that was proud. I, I may have missed three days, but I more or less got the entire year. Um, and uh, and then of course I've fallen life, you know, I want to get back up and juice more wheatgrass regularly. But yeah, live from experience. And so I also was incorporating sprouts into every meal. Um, and then, you know, uh, there are different ups and downs in running a company and running a sprout company. So sometimes I had a little more, sometimes I had a little less money, and I, I was at some a little bit out of necessity and a little bit out of experimentation. I was eating more and more and more sprouts, supplementing my diet. I had a lot of seeds, um, and then I ended up eating only sprouts for a week. And then I eat, ended up eating. I was like, let me see if I can take this for another week. And I added more variety into it, and I kept my cycling going, um, and. Uh, and yeah, so I ended up eating only sprouts for a month uh, when I was 20. Uh, I was 27 years old, and yeah, lived on lived on just sprouts. It was it was pretty extraordinary. Wow, and he's still living today, so <laughs> surviving on only sprouts. Yeah. So I want to know this, Ari. So I mean, some sprouts, of course, have more calories than others. So like bean sprouts and lentil sprouts and stuff have more calories yeah. than say alfalfa sprouts or broccoli sprouts that I think are more nutritional powerhouses. Yeah. You want to talk about the ratio of the beans versus the other kind of, you know, sprouts you ate? Yeah, so that's something that you know, growing up with the sprout man as my dad and going to these expos, I would always get in trouble for eating uh, the display sprouts and my favorites were the bean sprouts and and one day when I was like 10 years old he said they are still beans so you know you did eat a pound of beans you're gonna have a stomach ache later and that was my like yes they're sprouted they're easier to digest but you just ate a pound of beans um, and so it was like so I learned when I was younger, and that's that was some of the sprouts that I would steam. I would uh, make these you sprouted beans. Yeah, I would you steam. sprouted you sprouted the beans, and then you cooked or you steamed them. Yeah, yeah. So I loved I loved to uh, steam some. Uh, you know, mung was a favorite. We have these. We it, we called our power proteins. Got chickpea and uh, peas and two types of lentils. Um, we I I was playing around with some of the blends that we now have. We have crunch time. Um, which is adzuki, mung beans, and lentils. It's, uh, so we have these blends that have become blends that I sort of more or less made up. Um, but it was, for me it was about variety. So um, sprouts are so interesting because they have such variety of flavor because they are plants and so you just, you can have, so I played around a lot, I would spread it out and I would, I would eat a lot of sprout salads but I would also, um, I would also play with steaming them and... Did uh, you put a dressing on them? Um, I... 
what did I do for dressing? Or had it plain. I, I, I you mostly... blended plain sprouts with, with like broccoli and radish sprouts to make it spicy and you pour it on your cooked sprouts. <laughs> that's a really that's a really creative thing. I have to try that. Um, no, I, I, I made my, my dressings. This was another thing I learned from my dad. I, I made my dressings. So I wonder, oh, that might exclude the 30 days only. Because I made, I made it usually with like greens that were going bad in the fridge. So like old parsley and things. I'd blend it up. And there were some, some oils and some vinegars. But like, yeah, so I did dress like one meal a day. But it was more or less, and, and like a little bit of salt and stuff with the steamed stuff. But um, pretty much the sprouts stand on their own as flavors. And so it was more, um, yeah, a lot of leafy sprouts. Uh, broccoli on its own I find really... Uh, mustardy and spicy so I, I cut that a lot with alfalfa and then of course uh, radish we our salad mix is, is um, four sprouts it's 25% um, radish clover alfalfa and broccoli and the radish and the broccoli are so uh, on the spicy side whereas the the clover and the alfalfa are, are nutty and and kind of and really sweet and this if you're if you're training your palate to be really sensitive to these things if you're not wowing it with these like flavors that hit you in the face these like these artificial flavors and these really like you know spicy and like it, you you start to become really sensitive so i i got so sensitive to the spice of radish that i wanted to cut it so that's where the alpha broth came out of um, which uh. is our our 50 alfalfa and broccoli because i was like i got to harvest this really early because the radish will overpower Too the spicy other ones. yeah but like but I those wanted... are anti-cancer properties when you taste it. Yeah, absolutely. So it's healthier for you, really. Yeah, no, absolutely. So, Ari, did you lose weight during your 30 days since you're living on pretty much almost all sprouts except for maybe a little dressing on your beans or something? Um, I was pretty skinny then, but I've always been really skinny. And, um, you know, I wasn't, I, I, did, I wasn't conscious of losing weight. I was also hiking a lot. This was sort of in my in my like you know grieving period after my dad died so I was um, I was like hiking every morning I just like this was my routine so I was like I was fit but I was active what I was conscious more was like was energy like my own energy I became acutely aware of like I could I could met I've never been a, a devout like meditator but I could like close my eyes and like really feel myself and my, and my dad and Ann Wigmore talked a lot about living foods for living bodies and I became like really and my dad was like he would talk about the energy the conductive electricity piece that we have and and it's always about like you can receive what you're receptive to and it's like and I and I'm um, I I felt that in a really strong way, which was surreal for me. I felt on top of the world. Um, so because of like, you, you believe the vibing sprouts, they're a living food, super nutritious, highly nutritious, maybe some of them steamed, get them in you. You know, so how many calories were you eating? Did you did you kind of try to figure that out to make sure you're getting enough calories? You just kind of ate until you're full, I ate until all I the sprouts, and, and you're good. Yeah, I ate until I was full. I, I stuck to the three meal thing. I would snack a lot. On sprouts? Um, on sprouts, yeah. No, I my snack sprouts were garlic chives. I, I My dad had a line in one of his books, I have to remember if it's a Kitchen Garden or Sprouts the Miracle Food, where he was talking about how um, uh, garlic, um, is a very pungent, it's really super nutrient dense, but it's it's very pungent, and so you have that garlic breath um, phenomena that people look out for. But sprouted garlic is aromatic and less, uh, you know, it's 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 kind of this, it's it's a little, it's a light fragrance, but not that intense. And so I started eating it by the handfuls. And here's the thing, that's a lot of garlic still. And so people around me, my, my like my girlfriend and my brother, were like. And my mother were like, no, no, you, you do smell garlicky because you're snacking on garlic all day long. So there was there was that side effect. But like, it's I loved that one. So like, I radish. I I was growing up my favorite sprout. I kind of hit that wall where I was like, ah, oh, this is becoming too much for me. But garlic, I could not like have enough of. I just was so happy to to eat garlic. So how many jars of sprouts would you estimate, or how many cups of sprouts are you eating a day at this point? So then I was growing my main grower, so I was using the, the vertical sprouter for, for like the wheatgrass and the pea shoots and sunflowers, which are like, um, yeah. But I was using the sprout bag is, uh, is not as aesthetically pretty, it's not as beautiful as the jar, you don't get to watch it, but you can pack it. You would need like 
uh, two gallon jars to get what you can get out of one bag. And two gallon jars? So you like, can make two gallons of sprouts like, in this one bag? It's like, it, it can fit, like, I, I experimented with overstuffing the bag to see when they didn't get enough air amongst themselves, and I got 3.2 pounds of broccoli in out one of, bag. In, out of one bag. So wow. I had, How much would that cost at a grocery store, man? Like, well, those are four ounce containers for like five dollars. I know. Yeah. So yeah, those, it, that's like it's sixty math. bucks plus <laughs> of yeah. sprouts in your own bag. And a bag of, and a pound of seeds is is you know broccoli is an expensive seed, but it's thirty five dollars per pound. You can grow so much. You can grow like broccoli is about an eight or nine times yield, so it'll grow like eight or nine pounds. Um, per pound, it's it's very cool. The math of the, of sprouting is very cool. It's Lock, very economic. Save lots of money. Yeah, and also get the most nutrition. So my sprout even bag, easier than growing microgreens. Even easier and faster too. Yes. I mean, we've been for this show. We started when we arrived. We have fresh grown, fully grown sprouts on the table here, and that was four days ago when we started them. But that I had five bags is my like. Uh, on each hook. So I had two hooks growing when I was living on Just Sprouts. I had two hooks hanging above my sink. And then and how I, many bags would you eat a day? Um, I would eat almost a, a whole bag. So I'd probably, yeah. About three pounds of sprouts. Well, that that was That's an max, overstuffed max bag. I, I'd say a two healthy pounds. bag is like like just under two pounds. It's like a very, it's, they're very happy sprouts. So probably eating about yeah, that was a lot. Mostly leafies supplemented with the bean sprouts and some shoots from like the sunflowers and the, and the wheat. So two bags total, or how many? Probably um, a, a, ba a full bag um, plus the shoots. It was like so a day. Two, so, so two plus two pounds. pounds so yeah. That's really not a lot of calories. It's not, it was the beans were grown. Yeah, it would separately? be like yeah, separately. So uh, that would so definitely like a jar of beans. And with, then with those are all bag. the green sprouts. These are all the green sprouts. So I was I eating see. a ton of green sprouts, and then the bean sprouts were like the stir fry. So that was easily a whole jar. As oh, well. stir fried. Yeah, like or steamed. Yeah, steamed. Yeah. Steamed. All right. So it seems like your your weight was maybe stable. Maybe you lost a bit of weight, but you weren't really tracking that because your goal wasn't necessarily to lose weight. It was just kind of an experiment. You felt definitely more grounded, more meditative. You know, which is probably something I need <laughs> personally. <laughs> a little bit space, a little bit up there in the clouds. Um, but also, like, I want to know what other benefits you know people can see by eating sprouts. So, tell us more about the ener your energy and maybe like your mental clarity, because you know, hopefully that would clear up if you're getting rid of all the processed junk you're eating, right? And eating just really close to the earth and high vibrant, living frequency foods. I felt really good. I, I'm always curious to see like how much I sleep without an alarm. So uh, I was I was waking up uh, like before the sunrise. Um, like we were we were trying to hike to catch the sunrise, but I was kind of just catching before my alarm regularly without that. And then the mental clarity was like was really cool. I didn't have that like blood sugar ups and downs. Like I was really stable, stable energy. Um, and but it, for me it was more the the mental clarity. Like I felt really clear and um, and creative like it was a really creative time for me so in the end if you had to sum up your experience eating pretty much all sprouts for 30 days what would you tell everybody you don't need to eat just sprouts just anything don't like live on just juice hundred percent of the time but it's not a garnish and it's not something to be consumed um, seldom it's like this is a regular addition to your meal like this should be a foundation if this should be the complete salad if you're gonna have a salad this should be like 80% of it, it on the low end and if you're gonna add like if you're if you're making steamed vegetables as part of your your meal throw in your like like sprout your legumes and your and and add in some sprouts like adding sprouts to every meal um, is both a really good way to cut down your food costs um, and a really good way to support your own health. Like I felt amazing eating just sprouts, but going into it, I'd felt really good because I was eating so much. It, it was such an easy transition to me for me because I was eating so many sprouts in so many of my meals already. Yeah, I mean, I would definitely concur with Ari there that you want to just add things to your diet, right? Add more fruits and vegetables, add more sprouts, right? Sprouts are even more nutritious than whole vegetables you'd even get at the store. I mean, sprouts are more nutritious than the vegetables I grow in my backyard. I'll be the first to admit that, right? Yeah. And it, they're easy, you guys could grow them at home. I mean, I'm so much into encouraging you guys to grow your own food. And so many of you guys say, I can't grow sprouts, I live in an apartment. Why? Well, hey, the sprout man did it back in the 70s growing sprouts 
he wrote books on it and now his kids are teaching you guys how to do that. And here's the thing, when you guys start adding sprouts, you, you may not get like life changing differences, but you're gonna make incremental improvements and you may feel more grounded. You may get more energy because of course sprouts are a low calorie food. It may help you lose weight when you're also of course eating healthfully and properly planned plant-based diet otherwise. Of course, if you are gonna heat process your beans, I definitely would admit sprouting them first and then cooking them is even better than just cooking beans that have been soaked. <laughs> you know, that's something I need to do. So generally I'll soak my beans but not soak them, sprout them, and then cook them. that even take it to the next level. All right, Ari, so what I recommend you guys do, instead of just eating a single sprout like alfalfa, which in my opinion doesn't really taste that good, you know, being on his 30 days of sprouts, he's come up with all kinds of mixes so that actually they could taste good for you, taste amazing, and be nutrient packed. So Ari, what are your three favorite sprout blends that you guys sell so that people could sprout in their house, have some amazing nutrition, and also have some amazing flavors as well? Well, so my first would be Alpha Brock, and this it's was Alpha Brock. These are the seeds. So Alpha Brock is so broccoli's become this like the it's with, food. It's been the, the the sprout of the year, I'd say. It's everyone wants broccoli sprouts, and that's great. But it's also kind of mustardy on its own, and really, it, it, I find that the alfalfa and the broccoli together, the alfalfa, which is which is nutty and sweet can be a little bit kind of like dull on its own, but it's it's the original, like the popular from the 80s, from my dad's era, like this is alfalfa's the superfood, like that's the, that's the original sprout, and then combine that with the sprout of today, and it's a really balanced mix. So it also, um, alfalfa is so easy to grow, and broccoli can be a little tricky, and they kind of carry each other, so they grow really well together. So that's alpha broccoli, that's the leafy green one, that's my favorite. Crunch time. I love growing uh, mung bean, not as shoots, but in this baby stage. So crunch time has uh, mung bean, adzuki, and lentils. It is a delicious, like mild, nutty, like really, really delicious, tasty uh, And they're snack. all perfect to eat raw. They don't need to be cooked, right? Exactly. These are totally digestible. My dad used to say it was almost essential as a raw foodist to sprout because you can have access to foods that would otherwise be unattainable. So right. You have, uh, and then this one, beans and greens is more, it's, this one didn't exist back then, but I was throwing them together through two different blends. This is a leafy green mix with, uh, with legumes. So, so beans and greens is a good combination of both leafy beans, or leafy greens and legumes. It's got adzuki, mung bean, broccoli, and lentil. It's a delicious, uh, mix and it carries it doesn't it, it, it's got these different types of seeds that grow at different speeds and they work together They, they support each other. It's a it's a difficult balance to get uh, some legumes and leafy greens growing in the same batch But it's it, this is a this is a full salad on its own You can add some shoots if you have them But like this one's a real go-to because you can just toss it add a little tahini lemon add some di nice dressing so this one's become like a, a, a present day favorite. I, I, I eat it all the time. So yeah, these would be my top three at the moment. Great, yes, yeah. so sprouting is an excellent way, especially if you're raw and want to stay raw to get some beans in you. I've been a big fan of beans on the late. It, it improved my microbiome by including more and I just heat process my beans, but honestly, it'd actually even be better if I would <laughs> sprout them. I just don't have the time. It's easy to throw them in the Instant Pot and cook them up. But yeah, eat your sprouted beans if you want to keep your raw label, which I, that's a whole nother video, link down below to that. But uh, you know, sprout some beans so you can get those into you, you know, break, let's talk about this, Ari. So when you sprout, you lose the enzyme inhibitors, you lose some of the other toxic things in beans. You want to discuss yeah. this a little bit and, and the benefits of sprouting, especially the beans with my viewers today? Exactly though, it breaks down uh, the enzyme inhibitors, it breaks down the cell walls, it makes them almost melt on your tongue. It starts to it starts to digest because they're so soft in their infancy. They haven't built the the infrastructure to receive uh, uh, sunshine or nutrients from the soil, so all, or create their own new seeds, the offspring. So it's all there is potential energy, and it makes them super nutrient dense and like and soft and fragile, and uh, and it's the healthiest stage of a plant's life because it's just 
there for the taking. So the Sprout Man and the Sprout Brothers can make it easy for you guys to grow your own sprouts with a little kit that costs under 40 bucks. This includes everything you need, guys. It's special, you know, mason jars with stainless steel lids, no plastic here, a, pr a proper drain, stainless steel drain tray, as well as a rack to keep your sprouts at the proper level and this, the organic seeds to grow your own sprouts. And this is what it looks like. So, Ari, tell my viewers about why they should grow this kit if they've never grown sprouts before. So it's the seed that does all the work. This just this is a good vessel to carry the water and drain the water. This is day one and this is day four. This wow, they're already get. ready to eat in four days. They're ready to eat in four days. So just you, you water your sprouts. Um, you just, all they need is a rinse, a quick rinse in the morning. Once a, quick, a day. Yeah. They're once so a day is easy. Good. It could never be easier to grow your food. And the most nutritious thing you could possibly eat that you grew yourself. So yeah, under $40 you get... 30 cups of sprouts in this in the tiny packs that come in here I'd say it's worth it yeah it's gonna save you guys lots of money over the store and what I tell you guys is this I want you guys to basically grow one jar a day when you guys grow if you have seven jars you grow one jar a day every day after four days or depending on how many days some sprouts take a bit longer after four days you're harvesting one jar and then you have a jar for every day and sometimes even more than one jar so you can eat a lot of sprouts because that's what it really is about. It's not a garnish. I want you guys to make full-on salads and have different kinds of sprouts growing so you could always eat sprouts added to your regular salads or in some cases, right, just eat a sprout salad when you have tons of sprouts. Yeah, it's, it's replaced snack foods for so many people uh. that I know around us. That's what they were saying. Like, having just sprouting peas and then munching them on them on a drive to a meeting a, a, a friend once told me that's replaced potato chips because it just you have that crunchy the crunch juicy. and they're so nutritious so it's that piece of it there's so many different ways to incorporate it but also just adding the the regularity is what's most important you need to do things you can't just have a salad once you need to have it every day if you want to have an impact try something 50 days to see if it makes a difference really really commit to it and sprouts at this nutrient dense phase is is medicinal so so Ari, what are three easy ways people could include more sprouts into their diet before we sign off today so the classic sprout salad is an easy way so if you have some extra greens some uh, arugula um, you can add some you add add some of that as the garnish but make a base of two of our sprout blends, maybe our salad mix and our crunch time, and then sprouted hummus is a favorite. You sprout some chickpeas, you can top it, you can garnish it with some of your leafy sprouts. We have a, a beautiful picture here. Yeah, I'll put uh, a link down below to their website with all the recipes. And then we have, you know, a number of sprout snacks. A favorite is just uh, a, a sprout wrap. You can oh, wrap it excellent. in excellent. Yeah, just with avocado and just the sprouts alone, you could add maybe some dulse in there. Yeah. Actually, that's one of my favorite travel recipes. And nori rolls make great, great carriers for this. And that's been done since forever. And forever. it's just a really easy way to take what you have and wrap it up and just grab a bite. And uh, yeah, so I'd say those are those are three really easy ways to incorporate them. Wonderful. And if you guys want to get any of the sprout products, including the sprouting kit sprouting seeds you guys can save 15 percent off on any at, at your purchase at sproutman.com using the coupon code we'll throw up right there okay raw at sproutman.com and before we sign off are any final words of wisdom about sprouts you'd like to share with my viewers today i'd say experiment have fun um, throw them into whatever you you don't have to go all the way into a sprout only salad if you're adding um, just a little bit to whatever you're eating, that's a really good start. It's an incremental, it's like going for a walk and then for a run. So you gotta crawl, you gotta walk, and then you gotta run. Um, but have fun with your sprouts. Try some blends. The seeds do most of the heavy lifting. So if you try sprouting again uh, before, um, try it again. And uh, if you need any help, give us a call. We've been doing this forever. We love to, uh, we love to be supportive, so go for it. All right, Ari, so thanks for being on the show to share your experience eating almost all sprouts for 30 days, and also more importantly, sharing the benefit of sprouts with my viewers, because I think all you guys should start growing your own food. Because you know what, when I grow my own food, when it's outside, you know, I'm like, I'm picking my food, I'm like, I feel good about myself, because I grew my own food, I know exactly where it came from, how it was treated before I ate it, and you guys could grow your own sprouts indoors and know the whole growing process, harvest them and eat them, you're gonna feel good about it, 
and more importantly, you're gonna power pack your diet with living nutritious foods that's up to 40 times more nutritious than the whole vegetables themselves. So check out sproutman.com, use a coupon code OKRAW to save 15%. And if you guys enjoyed this episode with Ari today, learning about sprouts, hey, please be sure to give this a big thumbs up. That'll encourage me to make more videos in the future with the Sprout Brothers <laughs> and uh, teach you guys more about sprouting and the power of the fresh sprouts. Make sure you share this video with other people that also are eating raw so that they can incorporate more sprouts and learn the benefits of sprouting in their diet as well. And also be sure to click that subscribe button right down below so you don't miss my new and upcoming episodes. I've come out every five to seven days. You don't know where I show up or what you'll be learning on my YouTube channel. Make sure you click the little bells so you get notified as my new videos come out. And finally, be sure to check my past episodes. My past episodes are a wealth of knowledge, over 800 episodes at this time on this channel, dedicated to teach you guys all about how to eat the most nutritious plant-based diet on the planet. So with that, my name is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. We'll see you next time. And until then, remember, keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables and sprouts, they're always the best. 